Hi everyone, this week in maths the children have been learning about division, which is the opposite of multiplication. First question is, how many bags of chocolates can Emma get? So you can see here she has a bag and she has two chocolates in each bag. So we have to find out how many bags that she can get. So we have to divide 20 by 2 to find the numbers of groups and there are 10 groups of 2. So we want to see if this is correct. Now, you would circle um, the chocolates to try and find the total because you want to find the total amount. So I think it's easier to count in twos. So I can see here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and then the other two that are in the bag, which is 20. So the total amount of chocolates are 20. Okay, and we have to put them into bags. So there are 20 chocolates. Divide means, the symbol here means to divide. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So put two chocolates in each bag. So let's count to see if we correct. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I have 20 chocolates here and I have grouped them. I put them into um, bags with two chocolates in each bag and then I'm going to count how many bags I have now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 bags of chocolates and so you can see here 20 divided by 2 equals 10 and it's a division equation. Now we have to divide these 12 dots into two groups and then we have to see how many there are in each group. So I would write here the biggest number, I always start with the biggest numbers which is 12. And so I would tell the children to put one dot here, another dot here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then they have to count how many dots are in one circle. Okay? So you can see here that is how I've done it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So you could write 12 divided by 2, two groups, and there are 6 dots in each group. Circle to show groups of 2. How many groups are there? So we would count the total amount. And you can see here that there's 4 plus 4. So the total amount is 8. So 8 goes here. 8 divided. So we have to put them into groups. So 8 divided by 2 equals so 1 group, 2 groups, 3 groups, 4 groups. So 8 divided into 2, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. There are 4 groups. Okay, so you see here 1 group, 2 groups, 3 groups, 4 groups. Now you have to group in fives, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. You would circle this amount. One, two, three, four, five. Circle this amount, okay? So you can see five, 10, 15, 20, okay? 20 is the total amount of oranges. So the biggest number always was the front. 20, okay? You're grouping in fives, 20 divided by 5, because there's 5 oranges, equals 4. There's 4 groups, okay? And then you can try this with the children, group in twos. So they count how many lemons, and they count how many lemons here, and they put the total amount here, okay? Divided by 2, because it's grouped, and so let's see how many they can get. Now, put 16 apples equally in two baskets. So they have 16 here, okay? They could draw two baskets, just like the circles we did with the dots. Two baskets, and then they could put in each. So one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then they can see that there will be 8 in each basket. So 16 to the total divided by 2 baskets equals 8. So there are 8 apples in each basket. Now we have circle to show two equal groups. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know that we have 10 here, so there must be 20 because 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay, so you are dividing 20 divided into divided by 2 equals 10. Okay, so you can just see here the 10 should really be here and the 2 should be here. Okay, so 20 divided by 2 equals 10. I can also show you this because 20 divided by 10 equals 2, okay? Now, big maths be that. So they're practicing their 5 times tables. So 6 multiplied by 5 is 30, okay? If the children still are struggling, they can use their fingers, okay? They can have 6 fingers up. So they're going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 1 times 5 is 5, 10 times 5 is 50, uh, 5 knots are nothing, 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. They have to find the missing number, 5 times something is 15, they just count up using their fingers, 5, 10, 15, 3 fingers, so 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. 5 multiplied by something equals 35, again they can use their fingers adding up, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. They have 7 fingers. 5 multiplied by 7 equals 35. Then we have this one here. 20 divided by 5. How many 5s are there in 20? 5, 10, 15, 20. There are 4 5s in 20. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And then this one is just going, this last one is just going over revision that we have already done. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you.